Hey guys, this is Michael and I'm back with Dao Su with Endless Space 2. He is uh, instructing me how to play this very complicated but very exciting 4X game. Say hi Dao Su, how you doing? What's up man? It's not that complicated. You, you smart as you are, you'll pick it up like a like a I don't know, like something fast. I can't think of anything. A uh, snail. There's lots <laughs> of uh, there's lots of icons and things that I'm you know, I'm starting to figure out, but it's gonna take more yeah. work. So we got here last time and we're I think we've made all our moves we need to make. We're ready to end turn. Yes, I think we are finally ready to end the first turn. Okay, well let's do that and see what happens. <laughs> the whole episode deep. There's a lot to talk about. <laughs> 35 minutes for the first turn. That was... Uh, oh, that was man. There's deep. so much to talk about, though. I mean, it's, it's kind of... If you're doing a tutorial, it's necessary. This is meant for people who are trying to just figure out the game, so... So we're done. All the all our enemies have moved, and we didn't see anything they did, right? Um, We don't actually have any enemies that we've met at this point. Right, so we can't, so. We can't tell what they did. But they right. did stuff. Off camera. Yeah, uh, uh, presumably, yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're moving around out there plotting your demise, dude. All right, so what do we what do we do now? Do we go back to our planets right, and check uh, in? The first thing I would do... Um, okay, so you see in the bottom right next to your uh, intern button? Yeah. There's a little... Yeah, that exact button. Click that. Oh, and that'll just kind of get him going again? What about this guy? Has he stopped? Or well, will he keep doing stuff? There's if you if you end your turn right now, all, yeah. of, your piece, all of your pieces will move. Uh-huh. Right, or you can just tell them go ahead and move where, Bam, where right. you're supposed to be moving, and that's what that button does. So okay. I'm going... What do these things mean, by the way? The, the little the one. ones, and this guy has four. Is that how long it's going to take them to get to do yeah. whatever they're doing? The probes and the sh and the fleets are a little different. Basically, your your fighting ships exist in fleets. Now, the fleets you have right now only have one ship in them. Oh, so they okay. are separate, singular fleets. Gotcha. Uh, as far as the probes, it's a different symbol. It just means the probe will exist for four more turns. Oh, okay, and then it'll it'll yeah. just stop working. So we yes. could can we redirect yeah. it at some point or no? You it... have no control. You have no control over it, and in fact, the enemy they can blow it up. I believe. Okay. Um, All right. Not sure sure if that's implemented yet, but that's the idea. So, so if like a probe strays into your system, you can take it out. Right. Right. Gotcha. I think that's what they intend eventually anyway. Okay, so I click this button? Yep. All right, let's let that happen. Well, we found Xanadu down yeah. here, so... <laughs> but it's a shit system. Click on it. Okay, we got a medium Ugh, gas burning. Gas. Unknown life form curiosity. We... Tiny Mediterranean. That's Mediterranean is nice. not bad. Mediterranean is not bad, yeah. But it still doesn't have any strategic resources that we need. So, it has no anomalies, it has... Wow, this thing has six anomalies. Or whatever, is no, that what that means? six science. Yeah, six okay, science. So oh, I see. Six science. Little thing, the things on the right are the anomalies. So hover over them. Okay. Yeah, that's an anomaly. So that's a bad, those are bad anomalies. <laughs> yeah. So you syndrome. have this one prospect here for the early game, which is the Mediterranean one. Yeah. You do not you don't have the tech for Mediterranean, but it's a fairly early, easy to get, low cost tech. You need tech so, for Mediterranean? Don't you just need some Greeks or something? <laughs> I mean what's up? <laughs> As the race that you currently are, Got I you. think you need a need a tech for it. Um it's a decent planet, but again it does not have the strategic resources that we want. So okay. it's kind of a it's kind of a bummer. Um zoom out. Yeah. Too many olives. All right, we're gonna move on. Yeah. Uh, and you haven't discovered anything better. Um, click on your scout. Okay. Which is right there. That's that guy. Your scout still has half of his moves. So we can we, send him in a direction? See that little ar arrow down there with the, where the little information box, middle of the bottom. Right here? To the left. 3.4 yeah, out of 6. That's his moves. Yeah, that's his moves. The, the, the one that with the little satellite is his, um, what do you call it, uh, logistics. So this thing here. only yeah, right now your tech only allows you to have four ships at a time in a gotcha. fleet. Okay. And right now you have one out of four. So that's gotcha. what that is. So, so should we send him a new yeah, direction? I would send him in some direction. And it's sort of uh I don't know. I wouldn't send him like further away from your home planet because that those areas will be home. Yeah. Why don't we send him out this way? Or actually is this no that's not one. This is one though, right? that way or the way that's immediately opposite of that. Let's send him out this way. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I like how he has to come out and turn around. Yeah, that's that's a little loop-de-loop. -loop. 
So okay. still nothing. All right. Well, there's not a whole lot else really to do this turn. Um, let me just sort of give it a think. Um, as always, playing slow tends to be a little better than playing fast in these games. So I always oh, like yeah. to give give I'm it a little think here. But like, you can't pass any laws. You can't buy anything. Uh, you can't speed up your production. You can't speed up your tech in any way. So Can we I'm build thinking, a new ship or anything, or are we stuck on no, you're, just this? You're, you're built unless you want to interrupt. Uh, I mean, you you could put a ship in front of it, but the fact is, you're still researching even the most basic <laughs> military ships right now. Okay, so, so unless, no point. The only time I would interrupt right now is mm -hmm. if I had found an amazing third settlement planet and I wanted yet another a settler ship, ship yeah. then I might put it in front of that. But okay. there's just really nothing to do right now. So so in turn? I would just, yeah, I would in turn. Okay. So that was a quick turn just because we've already yeah. got everything already in the water. Yeah, the first 10 turns can, can go by fast once you've kind of established what you're doing. So we should come see what our colony ship got up to? He didn't do anything yet. The colony ship has... I'm sorry, this guy. Oh, both both the colony ship and the scout now have their moves restored, and you can either click on them individually and right-click where they're going. They can't turn around, so it's like they're pretty much on a set path. Right, so we should go ahead and just do this. Have I would, I would just do that, yeah. Execute the orders. Okay. And see what you... God damn it. <laughs> okay. This is incredibly bad. <laughs> okay, so Green that you've met your first enemy... Four families. She has got some really large. Um, she looks like an Italian ships. woman. <laughs> She's probably she's probably aiming for this Mediterranean planet over here. So is this their she home system? Probably. Um, click they done. There's, there's nothing you need to say to her. Just click done. Okay. And okay, so yes, you've discovered the whole our home planet. That's a pretty planet. We should take it. Yeah, it is. The tropical islands, man. So they're fishy people I, I guess i've never actually played a game as the lumerans i don't really know how they lumeris i don't really know how they function but um i've destroyed them quite a few times they don't seem to be particularly to destroy but uh i'm majorly bummed out by the fact that there are no strategic resources or colonizable planets that we've discovered so far so yeah i'm a little little bummed out hey wow look a real star name um uh, can we check out their <laughs> system now have we scouted yeah, it can. basically yeah. okay Wow, good production on that. Yeah, you just click, you click through them. Yeah, this is their home planet. Right. Not bad. Steps. Uh, yeah. This is unknown ruins. Curious. But the good news is, it doesn't seem like they have any strategic resources either. So. Okay. Not so. Too bad. Are they going to turn our ship away, or can it go through their space? No. Um, you should be able to go through them. Okay, and can uh, how do I move the screen? Uh, oh, okay, arrows. Got drag it. it or arrows. Uh, yeah. So your colony ship is out of moves totally. All right. Uh, but it... we found a system over here. Yeah, that's not actually a system. What that is is just uh like a bonus. So if you click on it. Okay, so if you're able to have that inside your empire, like uh -huh. by influence, then you'll get plus fifty gold. Gotcha. That's all that is. It's like a little bonus node. It doesn't not you can't colonize it or do anything like that. So okay. that sucks. <laughs> I mean, fifty gold is gonna be nothing in, in a later game. But right. click on your ship to move. Only. Okay. So you still got two uh, moves. Yeah, I would pick a direction um, and just head that way. All There's right. no pirates. Pirates are turned off. So yeah, I um, would actually. Maybe go, we should I would go head down. this way. Yeah, because that's also connected to your home node, and we can just hope and pray right. that there's an amazing strategic planet there that we can colonize right away. Okay. And if we put a colony here and then eventually had a colony here, this would probably end up in our domain, yeah. right? Yeah, 50 gold, I mean, is is good. It's not nothing, you know. Yeah. Um, it's it's definitely worth doing if you can get it. Well, it's I'd rather something... own it than have my enemies own it, so. Yeah. Uh, it's not something that you would, like, go out of your way for, but. Right. Okay, so, so all of your ships, yeah, the probe has moved already, I guess. Yeah, he hasn't discovered anything, though, right? So our probes are just still continuing along. They haven't found anything. I would have thought Man, there'd be selling... something here. Yeah, zoom in a little bit, that probe. Zoom in a little bit on that probe. Yeah, it's got three turns left. I'm sure he'll discover something there on the next turn. Got to be something there's, right here. There's definitely something there. 
Okay. But yeah, there's not much else you can do at this at this moment. So. Okay. So in. skip. End our turn. And Man, we gotta get we gotta get lucky here. All right. Well, we didn't get lucky up here. That's still going. Our colony no. ship hasn't found anything. Oh, hello. The colony hasn't moved yet. Okay. So you found the very militaristic, aggressive AI. <laughs> All right, and where do uh, we find okay. that guy? Um, is he down here? Where is he? Where is he? I don't know. Zoom. Yeah. Okay. Zoom, zoom in on that. I don't uh, think Dorado. they're here. You have a colonizable planet there. Skip. Skip. Tiny jungle. Tiny jungle. And we have some okay, curiosities. Okay. I, I I I bet that this planet has uh, resources on it. That that's probably what what those curiosities are. So okay. you probably are gonna want prioritize this. I'm a little nervous. Zoom out. Okay, where is this AI that we just encountered? Yeah, I don't know. I'm guessing up here. Is he? Well, I, I mean, they're see... not showing him to us, but... Yeah, well, I don't see any... Sh Usually when you meet them, it's because you've ran into one of their ships, Well, or... wait a minute. Isn't this an influence circle around this thing? No, I think or this is, is that the... probe's, probe's vision. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't show that these are colonized, so those must not be them. I don't know well, where it is, frankly. I what I would do is I would turn my scout around and head down, send your scout down to Dorado. Okay. It's gonna take a. I mean, it's gonna so take I a little while. Click him there, right? And he'll go and turn uh, around. You could, or you can click him on Dorado and he'll head there. It'll oh, just, okay. Yeah. Can I do that now? Or yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. So he's it's gonna, gonna take four turns, doing. which sucks. But he once he uses. Oops, lost you there for a second with the voice. I do now, yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm betting that that small jungle planet has strategic resources on it. Yeah, it looks like, I mean, it's got something, for sure. Yeah. Let's move your colony ship. I'm I'm hoping that there's something there that's Okay. Working. And these triangly looking stuff, this sort of, this is that's like, we haven't been here of, yet. Yeah, that's fog of war, yeah. Got it, okay. But you're not, you're, you won't really go there because it's not on any lane, you know. Right. You don't, it's pretty much all lane based. So should I click this here? You can, or you can do your colony ship manually, however you want. Ooh, okay. The Ganesh. So you have a minor sieve or a minor base, um, which you're going to, to want to take over. These guys would uh, make a good uh, good war party, wouldn't they? Yeah. Well, I mean, you can you, you'll also you could there are missions you can do to try to incorporate them. I haven't had much success with that kind of stuff, but it's should we start negotiations? Possible. Yeah, I mean, if you click on that, you'll see what options there are. You don't have the influence now to do anything, but you can oh. if you if you assist them, then you can you'll get like a mission. Okay. Um to allow you to win them over. Right. But what I usually do is just declare war. <laughs> okay. Once you have a few ships, just declare war and take them over, and then they'll be yours. Um, but that also kind of sucks. We'll zoom into their planets and see what they've... Oh, they've got the resources. They've got the strategic resources. Titanium and Hyperion are the two strategic resources that I've been harping on. All right. So that's a good system. I've, it's a pretty good system. It's not so, amazing. and we can't touch it until we... You've got to take it over by force or do okay. a quest for them. I would suggest taking it over by force shouldn't be too hard. Okay. So should I send the colony ship down now? Just go ahead and send it to Dorado? Yeah. I mean, that's the only colonizable planet that you've seen, so I would just send it down there. Okay. So if I click on him... I'm, I, I'm pretty certain that's the one you want, you know. So, send him down yeah. there. It's going to be six turns. He's going to take six turns. Things are going to sort of be slow here. Um, You're about to finish your, your tech. Yeah. Uh, you're not... Let's go check on that. You're so we're three turns of, away. Yeah. Once that building's done, though, you're going to have a lot more industrial power. Right. Okay. So is there anything else we can do, or should we end the turn? Mm -hmm. I don't think you have enough influence to pass any laws yet, so yeah, I'd say end the turn. Now, um... Question... Wait, what's this? Oh, we already been there. That's, okay. that's the bonus of the gold bonus, if you get that. Right, so, um, probes. We've sent these probes out, and now they're done, or they're going to be done shortly. That, um, yeah, once, I think they have one turn left. No, that one's got two turns two left. The one up north, he might discover something up north. He probably will. So but can we... South is done. Do we get more probes, or is that it? Yeah, they regenerate, um, but you're going to want those probes for exploring Dorado. Okay. 
because right. that's your only clear shot right now for those starting resources. Okay, well, so we'll arrive about the time the probes regenerate, right? And then we can start. Like one year scout, they probably already regenerated. Yeah. Mm, see Not the yet. little. Yeah, you've got one out of two. So one of them is regenerated. The next one will see the cooldown. Yeah. So ne next turn you'll have both of them back. Okay. And how could we use the one if this button isn't showing? You can't use it now because he's in a he's in a jump phase or whatever. I he's see. in a he's in a lane. So he needs to be in a system for you to use the. Probe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gotcha. All right. And you so could you could go to Xanados and then use a probe and then go to Dorado and and probably have two. Well, it's just like if you click on Dorado, there's there's that planet, not that one. No, I'm just trying to see if we should bother with a probe there. Okay. Like you could send the one south from there. I mean, but this little tiny jungle colonizable planet has three mystery boxes on it. Right. So we want to check all that out. I mean, that, actually, I, isn't there something else in here that's a mystery too? Well, the other planets have some mystery boxes too, but you're not as concerned about those because you we can't, can't colonize those right now. And right. you can get some bonuses from checking stuff out, and you right. always kind of should, but probes are so precious right now that I don't usually waste them on that kind of stuff. I usually okay. wait until I find a planet that looks promising, and that planet does look promising. It doesn't have any science, which sucks, Yeah. Um, but it's, it's got pretty decent production, and it's got the possibility of having strategic resources, which I'm, all, I'm like 90% sure those are going to be your strategic resources, okay. which you, it's really all about securing those right now, so... And is there a chance of getting like some text or something over here from these things? I've never gotten any text from, from, from an anomaly. Sometimes you'll get like five strategic resources, which is like enough to build one ship. Okay. Um, sometimes it'll be like, yeah, you'll get little bonuses and stuff. It won't be anything as huge as like a free tech though. Okay. So should we end the turn? Are we done here? Yeah. End the turn. All right. And then now this next turn, we're going to want... Oh, no, we won't actually get the probe. Wait, we discovered these guys, but they're already living on our planet. That's interesting. Yeah, you discovered their system. Show location. Bottom. Yeah. Okay, minimize that for right now. We'll okay. come back to that. Okay. Bottom. Yeah. Let's see. So okay, so you system? Just... Okay, so we're going to want to kind of shift gears here because you have two... Minor systems. Go ahead and zoom in on that one. You can. Okay. That's there. This is. Like, you don't have any easily co colonizable system. Oh, look at but this. But you have two systems right next to you. Yeah, that's a really good one. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. You've got two systems right next to you that are very desirable. Yeah. But they're both, they're both, both colonized by these minor systems. Minor right. races are pretty easy to take over with a little bit of force. So, right. actually, that one's not that. It's not that close to you, but it's kind of close to you. Anyway, pretty... I think you, you can take it over. Okay, I see the I see the Craver ship. Down you there. do I see that Where? red ship? Oh, right here. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's so they were it. over here checking out Zubin. Click on it. That's yeah. gonna be uh, scavenger. Hover over the scavenger icon, the picture, the portrait, or whatever. Yeah. You can get a sense of how strong it is. This is just a scout ship. It... So it's okay, 23 so not... military strength, 47 shields. Yeah. Defense. So it's it's not scary at all. Um, it's basically just a scout ship. And then, and then they're that's your colonizing ship. Okay. Is that that is that their colonizing ship? Oh, yeah. Shit. It's not your colonizing ship. Um. That oh no, your, that might be know. our. No, but this that's is two fleets of Leaper. So I thought it was theirs. Hover over the settler icon. No, it's showing blue, so I think it's ours. Yeah, that's that's yours. Okay, that's yours. Okay, I was a little so worried about that. They're just scouting. Scouting. No but problem. But they will come with you for these, and you need to build it. But uh, we just got our we just got our first uh, ship tech, so we're going to talk about designing military here pretty soon. Okay. So what should we um, do here? Keep moving. I would say keep moving. First of all, your colony ship. Okay, so just do the little down ship thing here. Down towards Dorado. Move it down towards Dorado, yeah. And your scout ship down towards Dorado. Okay, so that's fine. All right, now click on the little science icon in your pop-ups on the right. And let's that choose and down there. it. Um, yeah, let's choose okay. a new tech. So you got the efficient shielding, which opens up some just basic military hulls. Right, we should click this. Now, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking... Hmm... 
So now we can go choice. to these two, right? No, you, you still haven't opened the third tier yet. See how it's still oh, grayed out? Okay, yeah. But you're close. If you zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Oh, okay, wow. Mouth, I didn't realize you could zoom in. That's I'll awesome. Feel. Yeah. Yeah, so you actually have to open two tech. Do two techs in that tier to get the third tier. And you can see that. See the little number three there? Or that yes. it's kind of a big number three. And it says there's a lock there. Right. Oh, roll yeah, over the so lock. You've you gotten, need two. You've, okay. You've gotten one out of two. Right. Now, Oops. there's several different options right now. And I, I, I don't know if I know the, the best way, but first thing you could do is you could try to unlock some kind of tech to help you grow your influence. Right now, you're getting 11 influence per turn. Remember that your race really thrives on influence. Right. Like spin project. If you hover over the right side of that. Uh, right here? Okay, yeah, yeah. So that's, you can get an extra influence per pop if you build that on a planet. Mm, okay. That's actually a planetary specialization. Academy is it, not really important right now. It allows you to unlock new heroes, but it's not super important right now. Um, that's going to be food. Yeah. Which is also not super important right now. Right. What about over I, here? Okay, that's not that uh, that decreases the the penalty more more planets which you don't need right now. Okay. So, check the planetary landscaping. I think that might have something. System that's mostly food. Yeah, that's mostly yeah. food. Look at the one on the right. Off-world agribusiness. We've uh, already got that. We've already got that text. So oh, oh, like, is that why the little thing yeah, is there? Yeah. So I'm not seeing anything super useful right now. Um, What's this? Okay, here? that that is like basically a wonder. Oh, uh, I, I don't see. know if you've ever played Civ Five, but or, or any of the Civ games. I'm familiar so, with with the wonder thing. So yeah, yeah, that's like a wonder. So you can if you build that wonder, you get special bonuses. I that, I find it very very difficult to beat the AI unless you really streamline one of those. Gotcha. So I'm gonna say. So maybe xenology. Hmm. Uh, so we get influence. It's just not a big enough bonus. Let's yeah. zoom out a little bit. Zoom out a little bit. I'm thinking you might want to go for like a tech uh, thing to sort of increase your tech. Okay. Yeah. Zoom in on that. There are two techs you can get here. Um, the one biology. on the left actually will make your ships move faster. Okay. That's and a speed allow upgrade. You to and it allows you to colonize Mediterranean. Didn't we find a Mediterranean? We did. Yeah, we, we did find one. Okay. How close was it? Uh, it's not too bad. I mean, it's a couple of jumps away from the home system. It's not a direct link. Well, this tech also, if you look on the right side, this tech yeah. also makes makes all of your sh on the on the on the left side. Sorry, left side. Yeah, uh, makes all of your ships move to movement points faster. So that I seems think it like makes a good sense. thing. Let's yeah. grab that one. It'll also unlock the second tier because you only need one to unlock the second tier. So. Okay. Oh, okay. So we don't need two from this. We need two from anywhere around here. Or no, no, this is going to unlock this tier, right? Yes. yes. Gotcha. Yeah, they okay. only unlock the tier for their, for their section. Okay, all right. Okay. So we're all done I think with that. that. Takes care of science. You can get out of there. And if you want to get rid of the pop-up, just right-click on it on the right side. Uh, no, no don't, don't, don't get rid of those. Go okay. down to the bottom. The little down beaker. Gotcha. Right-click. Yeah, okay. Now, what's the second thing? You've, you've the discovered show. his show. We already got that. Right-click on it. Um, important. Click on this one. This is your faction quest starting off. Oh, okay. So Hidden there's rebellion. three different ways you can go. Let's see you what can, this is. You can read the text if you want. Uh, it's yeah, kind of a flavor really text. You can reach 800 manpower. That would be pretty easy to do and probably turn 20 or so. Um, what's okay. the reward? Hover over the reward there. Down. Uh, see where, over the down, reward, down. okay. To the right, to the right. To the oh, right. okay. Punisher yeah, yeah. drives. That's ten percent damage on all your ships. That's pretty decent. Uh, okay. Click on the click on the gear. Yeah. Stockpile six hundred dust. dust. I mean, we could also probably do that by turn twenty or thirty. Uh, see what the, the reward is. Trader's reach. Nothing pops up is it when not I roll over that. Up? Just leave it on. Uh, it sounds like you there. get a place, like a location. I think it might be like an ability for your outpost. Not sure. Oh, okay. okay, click on, on locate. 
It almost sounds to me like like you would find the traitor's outpost and be able to take it over as part of yours. Like maybe, maybe they have a I hidden don't know. outpost somewhere. I think that that's probably not. That's probably one of the early access things. Not totally. What uh, is daily? Explore ten curiosities. That'd be easy. Um, yeah. What is and daily slogan? Daily say? slogan. Eh, that makes sure food okay. on outpost. So we can talk about outposts because there's mentioned outpost twice now. When you colonize a planet, it does not colonize instantly. Right. You get an outpost, and then you have to send that outpost food and do various things to get it to grow. Right. Meanwhile, and if if an AI colonizes another planet in the same system, they basically are gonna you're gonna be in a race to see who gets the system. So. Uh huh. And that's where you were talking about how like the pirates or the enemy could kind of like intercept your food. Yeah, well, they or... can intercept your food or, or or even siege your planet, so it can't get any food, and it's a real pain in the ass. Okay. I don't know. I'd probably go for the military option. Intimidate? Um, yeah. I mean, 10% your ships for the rest of the game. That's yeah, pretty, that's pretty good. good. I mean, 800 good. manpower uh, we need to get. Okay, I don't we'll know where we about, stand. We'll talk about manpower. Go ahead and confirm. Well, we do have right. a Hisho, and we might be able to take them over right. later, so the that Hisho, would help us with manpower. Hisho, give us, give us manpower. You're right about that. All right, okay. you're done with that. So we're done with that? Okay. Yeah, let's talk about manpower. On the upper left-hand corner, click on your ship icon. It looks like a little ship. Click on your sh yep. this thing? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Empire manpower. You have 25 out of 375. So you can't even get 800 right now. Okay. Sure. There are texts that will make this a lot easier. And basically, right now, all of your, your planet is taking 10% of its food and converting it into manpower. All right. Um, it's gonna be super slow right now, but there are different things that you can do that will make this grow a whole lot faster. So don't okay. worry about it right now, but we'll sort of have to keep we'll have to keep that in mind. And if you exit out, see you have it pinned top right, um, right to keep it in your fresh in your mind. You need 800 oh, manpower to get. That. I just unpinned. <laughs> it's like, I, I think if you pin... go to yeah, if That's you go right. to the little chalice there, yeah, I think. Um, you can repin it. Okay. It, upper, upper quest list. Yeah. Click pin. Little pen. Yeah, that'll Got pin it. it for you. There we go. Okay. okay. So, um, do we need? Are we haven't done our research yet? So, and our ships have already moved. Is there anything else we need to do? Do we need to check in on our hero or anything like that? Ships are, have already moved. The hero will let you know when he upgrades. Um, you don't have quite and let's click on our our senate thing i think we need to sort of pick a law that we're aiming for even though we can't pass it yet okay yeah, click on that um new colony plus 25 percent approval not not 25 percent but just 24 percent approval that one kind of sucks uh go to the next one okay so all of these other ones are way expensive. Wait, wait wait go back to fleets for cheaps okay hold on 25% ship cost reduction is pretty good. Yeah. What does okay. it mean? Minus 10% health on core section. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, are the ships made up of components? Not the core, though. I've never, never heard any reference to cores. Hmm. All right, go to... But that seems like 10% so, less health on your ships, which you don't want. That's what it sounds like, yeah. But they'd be cheaper. Uh, work, not shirk. Click on that one. Okay. That's a pretty good one. Increases um, production per population on planet. Minus one approval. That's not population? a big deal. That's not a big deal. We can we can overcome that easily. Okay. Um, but the plus three production would be awesome. Uh, but we need two hundred fifty influence yeah. to get it. Like the this, militaristic laws. There's so this one here good. is only fifty, and it yeah, gives that us might negative be a good start. Cost. That might be a good start. Um, so we'll aim for that one. Uh, what about safe skies, Bill, and wartime taxes? 125 no, gives uh, us plus 25 yeah. approval with one of the fleets. In I, we don't bit. care about approval so much. There's the building we can build that pretty much fixes approval for us. Um, that one's decent, but uh, it's only when you're at war. at war. You're not at war right now, so okay. I think we're gonna go for fleet cost down. So yeah, uh, next oh, we, that's gonna be next turn. We'll have enough. So we we'll want to okay. make sure to do make sure to do that next turn. All right. But we're at, we're at about 30 minutes here. I don't know if you want to put cut. Yeah, uh, should we, ju yeah, we'll just, um, well, I guess we should end the turn, or can we... Yeah, can go, we ahead, go ahead and end the turn so we can see what happens. All right. 
So our ships will move and we'll see if we encounter anybody. It doesn't look like we did. Yeah, so, you gotta take you gotta take both those minor civs over, man. We need some we need some military action going on here pretty soon. Yeah, pretty much uh, not much to do right now, and I'm I know our bad guys are off scheming, especially those little yeah. dudes. So, yeah. All right. Well, we'll get back to it next time. Thanks for thanks, thanks for your effort there, Mister Dalsu. Oh, it's fun, man. I enjoy it. Yep. Yeah. See you guys soon. Thanks. Bye. Bye.